Hello my friends and welcome to episode 8. We are in Tondela for race weekend 8 of this Motorsport Manager episode. We're going with the engine and expert and the nurse. So that is pretty good for us. Uh, and we jumped out and race trim for Linares who is in for the injured. Uh, what do you call him? Uh, which setup did she prefer actually? This one just about uh, Frankie Kane. Uh, 11 laps. Uh, I think we're starting on the mid jumps. I think that's fine. And again, start on the mid jumps. Are we expecting rain? No. Uh, so, mid jumps again. 10 laps. On we go. Start race. Uh, Linares obviously starts in pole because. She's not driven yet this season in a race. Now we do lose obviously the monkey, eh, the monkey, the money for Frank Kinney's pay driver situation, and obviously we have a far worse driver out there. But we will follow Linares as she looks to go through the field here. And I am now sort of looking at lots of different ways that we can improve this team. We do have our last engine improving. We're firing everything we can improving performance now which is why those engines are not getting used i could build another one but 1.5 million it's not going to be worth it by the time we do it we're going to get maybe one race out of it and um, we could use improved reliability it's not worth it and it would be very difficult to balance the driver's requests on it as well because obviously we have two equal drivers so that makes it very difficult but we've got you know things going in the right direction and that is positive one that is Holding on fourth while the more experienced Inez Santana is down in 20th. She's not had a good season, Santana. And you <laughs> see on these straights, everyone just flying past Linares. Um, so I am seriously, seriously considering replacing Santana at the end of the season. Now, I was planning on buying the scouting centre. Because that offers us so many more drivers to scout. But... Truth be told, it, we can't afford it anymore because we've had to buy engines. So I may look at that for next season. If we do, Santana might stay for a season. That's kind of where I'm at. Linares has eventually fallen to the back of the pack and joined Santana at the back too. Very frustrating when the ZRTs have held their own in the top two. Linares seems to have allowed them to get away, unfortunately. Um, so hopefully they do start to fall back down the pack now that everyone else has caught up with them. Uh, we obviously having a bit of issues. Our engine seems to be very, very much uh issue at this race. There is a vote coming up for top five positions only get points. Now that could be beneficial for us. It could be bad for us. I genuinely think it'd be bad for us. So I'm not voting for it. I'm voting against. Ideally, I would like to abstain, but I've already had one team come and offer me to vote in support of it, and they would pay money. I declined that because £150,000 or 250 whatever it was, or potential points in the future. I'm going to take potential points in the future, you know. We can really push this team forward, really make it a team that is not a back marker, hopefully, as Tang's in the pits allowing us to get further forward here. And this is where I'm kind of hoping our medium strategy comes in uh, against all these soft runners on the softer compound tyre. Uh, he's came out on enters. Are we expecting rain? Yes, we are. Which means, I think, we've got our strategy just about right. Um, if we can hold off for another lap or two. We will bring in Linaris now. And we'll top her up. We're expecting a fair amount of rain here. So we'll top her up. Parts are fine. She's actually looking after her parts fairly well here. Uh, I think we've got another lap before we need to pit, pit Santa Ana. So we will follow in the Santa Ana for a lap or two. Um, it might be worth stacking them actually. We're on a damp. Yeah, do you know what? I agree. We're going to stack you. Um, I didn't want to stack, but I think it's going to get wet too quick and I think we can... Be okay here. Linares obviously comes out ahead with that. Um, unfortunately, still on 19th. 
rear jack problems and tire mistake on Santa Ana. That is not good enough pit guys. I haven't actually checked them in a couple of days. So maybe that's my fault. Maybe the guys are tired in now. Um, and maybe I need to start considering bringing more people in. But again, that's money that we just do not have right now. Um, next season, of course, we will have that 11th race, which will benefit us in terms of the sponsorship and whatnot. Uh, how much rain are we expecting? It's expected to last a good little while, so we want to hold on as long as we can here on these tyres and see if we can make them last a fair amount of the race. We are certainly into our tyre strategy now, so I think we did have to stack. Realistically, it's not worked out well for Santa Ana, but we did have to stack. But again, Santa Ana been outperformed by a teammate who is nowhere near her level on paper. It's a bit embarrassing for um, Ennis there. <coughs> uh, Valdez still in Dembele, still in the top five. That's not good for us. The ZRT are having such a strong race here uh, today. Hmm. Still looking like rain down the line, but it does look like it's going to calm down about lap 19. So if we can hold on till then... Uh, tires are fine, so we'll just bring them down onto low fuel, see if we can just, you know, maybe save a pit stop. If we can save a pit stop, that's great. If we can't, fair enough. But we'll be able to charge at the end kind of thing, is what I'm thinking. Uh, Santa Ana obviously benefits from her engine not being damaged by higher engine mode, so that's helpful. Uh, Linares, come on. Yeah, just we're not quick enough. The drivers aren't good enough. Santana had such a poor season as well. Uh, something wrong with the suspension. That cost um, Frankie in the last race, so hopefully that, that holds out. Uh, so there is a number of drivers I'm looking at. I've now got, I think, five or six favourite aid. Some of them are out of contract already, not with a team, and some of them have... Um, teams but their contracts are expiring at the end of the season so all of them are potential options for us next season i'd be more than happy to go and proc them if the right offer is on the table in that regard but right now we are taking on this race i am definitely recording here i'm not yes that would be embarrassing having to start the recording now <laughs> so i'm glad i am always make sure that i am definitely does look like it's going to start to dry up in the next sort of four or five laps i think we've done enough with santana in terms of fuel we're only on lap 15 not 16 no hmm okay i don't think we've done maybe quite enough okay, so we have to stay on this uh low engine mode apologies if you hear that lorry driving past that was extremely loud it does shake the house sometimes when they go past flying past Valdez retired, that is great news for us. Uh, and Linares fighting with Dembele as well. Two laps worth of fuel left. Have we got enough to get to lap 19? We've got enough to get us to lap 19. I don't know about lap 20 is really the question. Um, they're switching to mediums already in the case of Arbaloa. I think, you know, we are on the right race strategy. It's whether we can get there or not. We're going to bring us on to conserve tyres as well, just to make sure we have those tyres to do it. We're all going on to dry tyres now, so definitely expecting to switch soon. We just need to time it right. We've got 1.7 laps worth of fuel left. Linares running 12th. And should be realistically gaining on that medium compound runner of Arbaloa in front of us. But we're not. In fact, Marchetta is flying past us instead. Hmm. Can't believe we're not catching Arbaloa. Eh, uh, pit, pit, pit. 0 0.7 laps worth of fuel. That's fine. 6 laps. It's fine. 6 laps worth of fuel. That's fine. Everything's fine. Um, where Santa Ana on track? Is she passed? Yes, she is. So again, think. Think. In fact, actually, I'm going to stick an extra lap's worth of fuel on you. See if we can push a little bit. Both of them should have enough fuel to get round there. I cannot believe we weren't catching um, 
the dry runners while on the enters and wet conditions. That's crazy. We are out the stack works that time. But unfortunately we're in last and second last. So can push on the tire. No we can't. Not on uh, that car. We can't. Uh, but here we can. Hmm. We should be ta catching Tang though. We should catch Tang fairly quick. In fact. He is in the pits though. So if he has a good pit stop. We will not catch him. But we do indeed overtake both Tang and Rogers. In that pit stop. Wonder how we are doing time wise against drivers in front in fact no Dreyfus is still pulling away just too good I think it was uh, the team with Beham and Jacques I can never remember what they're called they're a really really fast team though um, the team that dominates this series early on uh, we are on excess fuel here so we can go high I feel like if we'd had Frankie Kinney or a good race with Santa Ana we could have been hitting our sponsor objective this race uh, excuse me, with three laps to go, but realistically now it's just not been a good race for Santa Ana, and we've not got Kenny and Linares just isn't the same level of quality as those two guys. Uh, realistically, well, we we'll say realistically. <coughs> excuse me, on paper she's certainly not even close to Santa Ana. Uh, whether it is, I think, in terms of racecraft in this race, she's done a better job. But, again, it's a difficult one because, you know, you're looking at it and you think she should be doing better. Uh, but overall, decent performance, again, from both for all from her. Santa Ana, not good enough. 13 seconds behind her reserve driver is just not good enough. I know that we've been pushing you at all. I know that we're trying to do things certain ways, but it really isn't good enough. You can see the cars getting more and more competitive as we go along, and I think an engine... You know, if we could have afforded to get engines earlier, we'd have been in great shape. But realistically now, in current condition, no chance. Uh, Santa Ana's tires have actually gone off the cliff because I've not been paying enough attention. Uh, whether well, Linares has plenty left in the tank of her tires. Uh, but that's me and my race strategy, keeping her in push for too long. I thought she had enough. She didn't. In fact, her tires are going to fall off at this rate. Jay is indeed going to finish though, 7% left on those tires, 5%. Uh, so 17th and 19th today, not great, another poor showing overall. can see the cars definitely get more competitive, so that's a positive. I think we got the strategy right there. It just didn't work out for us in terms of results, unfortunately. But hopefully, you know, more runs like that we can. I'll show you where our improvements are currently looking at. Um, 26 points behind. Not gravy. Really not gravy. Um, because our improvements are, you know, they are. And we are making them. We are improving the performance. So I'll show you all that. Uh, morale improves for Santana. Great. And for the other driver, not relevant. So we do that. We are still staying in the red there, actually. Unfortunately for us. Um, but if we have a look at the car, we've got another engine coming. That is a risky part. But overall, we're looking at 60. In fact, I can't show you improved parts just now. So I will skip forward to show you that. Uh, except in our view. You weren't even racing, so I don't know what that's about. Uh, that's fine. I will have a look at pit crew separately. In fact, we can just swap you out straight away because you are knackered. I bet you that was where that mistake came from. Swap you for you. You for... Oh, I don't want you on tyres. I really don't want you on tyres. You are refueling, really, or rear jack. You could do rear jack. And you go... And we'll bring you in on front jack just now. You know, get everyone a bit of a rest. That's fine. And you can do tyres so you can jump in here. That's fine. So we'll skip ahead so that I can show you the car situation in terms of car improvements. So improved parts. 
We're improving this. Now it says 36 days, so that's just after Milan. Now, calendar. Milan is second last day of the race season, so we're not going to get all these improvements out. So we're trying to get where we can. So we're improving the brakes. They all get to 105. We're improving the suspension. That will get to 132. Uh, gearbox, I really wish we could be improving more. Uh, we'll bring that off because we don't really particularly need it. I just can't see us getting any more than that. Gearbox at 83 is kind of going to have to be accepted. And the engine, you know, the risky part is going to have to be enough, I think. We've just not been able to put enough time into that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Let me know what you're thinking in the comment section. Hit subscribe if you're enjoying the series. Hit like or dislike if you're not. And I will hopefully catch you all next time.